Hello and welcome back. In this video, I will show you how to use the delay nodes in Unreal Engine. Let's get started. So here we are in the third person character blueprint. And in this video, I will show you how to use the delay node and the retriggerable delay node. So let's start with the delay node. And you get the delay node by right clicking and typing in delay. And we want to select this first delay node. Now the delay node has two input pins and one output pin. So the first pin is an execution pin and the second pin is the duration value. And this value will be the length of the delay in seconds. So a value of 0.2 would be 200 milliseconds and a value of 10 would be 10 seconds. So now I'll connect the delay node to this event and this event will run every time I press the letter key on my keyboard. Next for the completed output pin, I'm going to drag out of it and I'm going to get a print node. The print string node, sorry. So this print string node has a value and it's a string value and I'm just going to change it to pressed. So every time the print string node is run, then it will print pressed onto my screen. And lastly, I'm going to change the duration to 5 seconds. So when the delay node is run, then it will wait 5 seconds before running the next code. So let's test it out. So in the bottom right corner, you will see the nodes. And notice the white lines. Because every time the code is run, the white line will turn orange. So when I press E, it turns orange, it waits a few seconds, so it waits 5 seconds in the delay, and then after that runs the print string. So I'll show you again. And every time I press E, you can see the line turn orange, but the delay will always wait 5 seconds before running the next code. So that's how you use the delay node. So the delay node will only run again when it has completed its time. So if I keep pressing E, it will wait until it has finished 5 seconds before allowing me to run the delay node again. So if you want a delay node that resets every time it is run, then you will want to use the retriggerable delay node. So let's do that right now. So to get the retriggerable delay node, you just right click, type in delay, but instead of selecting the first delay node, we want to select this one, the retriggerable delay. So the retriggerable delay looks the same as the delay node. It has two inputs and one output. So we'll change the duration to a value of 5 seconds. And then we'll connect it to the E event. And we'll connect it to the print string as well. So now every time you press E, it will run the retriggerable delay instead. So let's test it out. So as you can see again, we have the nodes at the bottom right corner. And this time when we press E, and keep pressing E, the retriggerable delay will never finish its time. It will keep resetting the counter. So it's always at 4.9, 4.8 seconds. But if I release and stop pressing the E, then it will count down. And once 5 seconds it's up, it will run the print string and print a text on my screen. So if I keep pressing E, it doesn't run. If I release it, then it can finish the delay. So that's how you use the delay node and the retriggerable delay node. They both have their own uses. Now one important thing to remember is that these two nodes are latent nodes. And you know that because there is a clock in the top right corner. And that means that they can only be used in the event graph or in macros. They cannot be used anywhere else, especially in functions. Even if you were to right click and type in the delay and try to find the node, you will not find it and you cannot copy and paste them in. So that's an important thing to remember. So I hope you enjoyed this video. If you have any questions, please comment down below. And if you have any suggestions on what future tutorials I should make, please comment as well. Don't forget to like, share, and most of all, please subscribe. And let's see if this time we can hit 50 likes. See you soon.